Okay, today's video, I am going to teach you how to get a remarketing ROI every time when 90% of people out there who try to do remarketing never get it to work. Okay, this is your golden ticket to get remarketing to actually be profitable for your company. And with the power of sevens in marketing, that right there says that it should work for you. That law says that you'll make more money advertising to fewer people more times than more people, but only once. So it's not a mystery as to why it works. Most people just don't get it to work right for them as all they're simply doing, if they're doing any remarketing, is regurgitating back to them what it is they said the first time when they got to their site or if, if they're lucky, <laughs> but more than likely just showing that product to them again or mentioning the service again, which is but just better than nothing. It is better than some uh, nothing, but barely better than nothing. There's a key way to get what effectively is your front end traffic that you're paying to get to your site that is in, now that you had to you know, struggle to get them interested in your product or service or that you had to pay big dollars for because they're already interested in a product or service in your space to convert at a higher rate, close at a higher rate than they would have otherwise. We know because we've measured this before. You take away remarketing, at least the way that I'm going to show you here in today's video, from a Google search campaign that you know targets people ready to buy an item or a service, you're going to get half the total sales from that front end traffic you're driving to the site without the remarketing piece that goes on the behind it, which is why I use remarketing in every single campaign that I run for clients as well as the businesses that I'm part owners and which I'm part owners in several e-commerce companies as well because you're throwing part of your, you're basically throwing part of your money away on that, the part of the money that you spend on advertising to get them to your site by not having the follow up piece after it. But like I said, there's a way to do it to get results every time, of which most people don't do. And because your competition don't do it, that's why it's so damn effective, effect, uh, ultimately. But not just because of that. Anything you do that's useful for the user that your competition doesn't do will make you more money, basically, in a nutshell. But also, it builds authority and credibility for your product, company, service, all of that, when you have follow-up after it. It, a, another analogy to think about to explain why remarketing works so much to increase ROI on any traffic you're driving to your site, it's the same psychology that's at play you know, when it comes closer to um, election time. Why do politicians have their, si their signs uh, littered all over the place, like those signs that you put into the ground with their names on it? It doesn't say anything about what they do, which and why they're better, which they should. They're not even doing it right. But just the fact that they have that follow-up re repetition in their marketing, you know, you saw them on a TV commercial, then you see their name all over the place. You're gonna put more stock in them when it comes time to actually vote. Because there's a point in time when your prospect is gonna make a decision. Because rarely do people make a decision on whether to buy right when they hit the site the first time, unless you're talking about a $20 broom, okay? And so they get to your site, they look around, or maybe they turn into a lead and then they're thinking about it. There's a day where they say, I can't delay this anymore, I need to make a decision. Who ends up getting the sale, the lion's share of the time is the person who did the follow-up with them after and got that repetition in with the user so that they think you're the brand. So what you're paying for is essentially your, uh, increasing the likelihood that somebody, when they finally do go make a decision, and they know they can't delay their purchase anymore, so that you have a higher percentage of the time that they're gonna go with you. So all the money that you're spending doing the thing that I'm talk, gonna talk about here, as far as the method goes, has no ROI. It all comes through when they finally go to make a decision, so they go with you at two, three times the rate as anybody else in the market that has that they've also considered and also hypothetically had a shot 
at getting business from that person. So how do you actually do that? So that if they're considering you and two other competitors to go with you at three times the rate as them, and then you know you and then them had to spend this roughly, we'll just say for, for to make this simple, roughly the same to get discovered by them when they were in the running to buy a new lawnmower or a DUI lawyer or what have you, how do you get the sale three times the rate as the other guys or gals if they're running a business? And that is to the remarketing piece that you need to add to the end of your, you know, eff effectively your sales funnel, getting the person, the right person to the site and then following up with them so that they, that ultimately happens for you. That's where the ROI comes in. So as to say one ad does something for you when the remarketing that you're doing, it's not the case. It's the cumulative effect of all the ads that show up for them during the whole time they're evaluating their purchase and who to go with. And if they're gonna go with somebody at all, that gets the closing rate at the end of the day, after everything is said and done, they saw all the ads to go astronomically higher than you had before. And that's where the real return comes in. So really, where people go wrong and why people say that it doesn't work is because they don't see somebody clicking on a banner ad that shows up for somebody after they leave the site and then buy, so they don't do it at all. And the reality is they should be focusing on something called MER, marketing efficiency ratio, where you look at how your total sales are affected when you add the remarketing piece to your, to your overall sales process and when you don't have it. And if your sales go up, then you know the remarketing worked. That tells you effectively that the remarketing works, not did somebody click through a banner ad while they're reading a news article, buy instantly, because that's not how people generally behave that operate online. And then, so because you understand that and your competition doesn't, they're not gonna do it, you are, and you're gonna get all the reward. So with that said, I'm gonna go into the content, what the method is here, and then, so like I said, by the end of the video, you have everything you need, the tools to do this for yourself, and so you get twice as much out of anything that you're using to drive traffic to your site, you get twice as much out of the traffic you're bringing to your site already. So to get into it, to get good ROI out of your remarketing, you really should work backwards. Not Most people I never hear talking about this, if they're talking about remarketing and being effective at all. That is, before you go ahead and you try to set up a remarketing strategy, to actually get people who have come to your site to buy who haven't bought in, what you should really be doing is focusing on remarketing to your current customers if you have repeat customers in your business. Why? Because it's way, it has a way higher ROI on the ad spend you've spent focusing on it, so why wouldn't you focus on that first? Furthermore, if you could get current customers to buy more, that raises the lifetime value of a customer which gives you more leverage ability on the front end to get, there's more traffic that you can drive in to your website in the first place. You can pay a higher cost per click for it, which means you can get more traffic. There's other things that wouldn't have had the uh, profitability for you before, but now because you have more lifetime value out of a customer, you can do it. So it opens up the front end for your business so much more than you have now, and you, which, it's easier to get, so in other words, it's just easier to get more sales for your, or should I say profit, so it's easier to get more out of a current customer through advertising than it is to go after new customers. Up to a point, then it's easier usually than obviously to go back and try to get more customers, but most of you guys that are doing repeat business with people, you should just be focusing on get, getting more from a customer and, and with, and just marketing, you know, staying in touch with them. A lot of it's not just asking them to buy again, though, which is another common mistake. You need to st give them a newsletter, keep in touch with them, and then occasionally ask them to buy. And then that's going to put you in such a, an advanced position compared to all your competition that you can afford to run ads basically everywhere a prospect might be in your space. So you do that first, then once you've done that, you've gotten all the value out of you can out of that, then you're gonna go after people who you've gotten as a lead already. So if you're generating leads, you do your remarketing to get the leads to close at a higher rate. 
like I was talking about before, a lot of this is just it, what it, you're doing is just getting the person that's already interested to close at a higher rate with this method. So you should focus all your attention there or people who, for product sellers, e-commerce businesses, people who hit the cart and then abandon and have, haven't purchased yet. You focus all your attention there because that's the second most profitable use of your, of your money of what you can do with remarketing. Then once you've done that, now you should focus on people who've been they're higher engaged at a higher level. They may have not turned into a lead yet, but they were on your site over two minutes. You should focus all your money there as much as you can until you can't spend any more without your ROI going negative. And then you should do the rest. Everybody else that hits the site. So people usually don't layer the remarketing like this. And then therefore they don't get as much out of it. Because if you just simply say, I'm going to do remarketing and to the point where I'm losing money, you're not going to get near as much out of it because there's way more ROI in remarketing to the customers than the average person who spent 30 seconds on your site. So you're going to get half of the potential value out of running this remarketing strategy when you don't divvy up your budget so that most of your budget goes to the most people most likely to buy. And then a tad goes to people less likely to buy to hopefully get them to ascend to be a more interested prospect. But if you hit, hit the person that's been on your second for 30 seconds with some other information and they don't bite, you don't keep trying and trying and trying. That's the most efficient way to go out doing this. Now, more importantly, more, the bigger thing that people screw up is they don't have the right information that they're remarketing with. If the person gets a lot of value from the information you provide, they're, you're going to get a good return because that's just how it works. If you give them and you just keep asking them to buy over and over again, they're going to get pissed off and you're not going to get much value at all from that. But it's better than nothing, barely, but where the real money comes in is helping them decide to make a purchase specifically, offering them quality information along that those lines. So most people in business, in your business, don't buy for these main several reasons, of which the remarketing is going to help you get them over that trust gap, if you will, so that they end up buying from you at a much higher rate than they would have otherwise if they didn't see these other follow-up ads show up for them, which is what I was talking about before. So the first reason people don't buy is it's too expensive, okay? And you can offer discounts to get that person to buy. And what we'll do often for e-commerce businesses, we'll say, for St. Patrick's Day, we're offering 10% off use code Patrick's 10 by the end of the next week, and you'll get the 10% off, which gets people that thought it was expensive off the fence and, and get them to buy. It also stops people from procrastinating. I highly recommend that for products. But for the most part, they think it's too expensive. It's because you haven't built up enough, enough perceived value in that prospect's mind, which is why you want to focus on number four here, which we're going to talk about in a second, which is uh, restating the value proposition because you, people assume that if they were on your website, they already got everything they want to know. Reality is people have sh short attention spans and what you want to do is all the main reasons, the benefits that your product or service delivers, you want to repackage that up in remarketing ads so that if it, it, if, if it provides a really good, um, just to give you an example here, if it's a toolbox, if it provides, has really good capacity, can hold a lot of weight in the drawers, product we, you know, we, we marketed a toolbox before, and so with that, we'll have an ad that just says that, driving them back to the site so that they can read more about that specific topic which even if you just send them back to the homepage, that would be pretty effective. If you want to double the effect, you send them back to a page that just talks about the weight capacity of the drawers on that toolbox. And then you have another ad shows up for them that says this product is good compared to the competition because it has thicker steel, which means it's going to be more durable. And then you do the same thing there. And so what you do is you just make a list of four or five different benefits, the main benefits of your product. What what makes it deliver good results and why it, you should buy that product or service specifically. 
and put that into different remarketing ads that'll then show up for the user later. So that the expensive price, then they start to go and say, oh yeah, I guess it is worth that. So so it's too expensive, that's why their people don't buy. They also don't trust the company. So forget about the product or service. If they don't trust your company, nothing what you say about the product or service is gonna matter. So how do you get them to trust your company? Well, of course on your landing pages you take people to, you could say this stuff, but again, like I was saying, was saying before, many people aren't gonna absorb it all when they hit the page for the first time. So you wanna follow up that information, such as uh, that you're A plus BBB rated, uh, you've been in business a long time, since 2003, whatever, that you have a high 4.7 rating on Google reviews, uh, and 5.0 rating, uh, 5 rating on Yelp, so on and so forth. These are all common things you can say in your remarketing ads specifically, which nobody's doing this, to get them to trust your company as a whole so that the message about your product can be taken seriously. So what we'll do is have that kind of shit on remarketing ads that pop up for the user after they leave. To, to, to take out this main thing here to where if they don't know we're a br trusted brand in the space, they, 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 they assume it. The other reason what people don't buy is because they don't trust the product or service itself. So they have to trust your company and they gotta trust your product or service. So how do you get them to trust your product or service? Well, that's pretty easy. It's gonna cost you some money to come up with a lot of this stuff, but uh, one of the easier, I don't wanna say easy, but free ways to go about doing this is to get customer testimonials and put individual customer testimonials in banner ads. And if you want a good example of this, we use this all the time, go to my site at guaranteeppc.com under banner ads you'll see that how often we do this. So we'll put a picture of the customer's face, what they said about the product or service, their name. When they click that, we'll drive them back to our site where all the rest of the testimonials are, okay? You can also do this through uh, like influencer reviews. You can pay influencers to review your product or service and then take a quote about what that influencer has said picture of the influencer on the ad and then drive them to the full review from the influencer that you paid for. Usually for a few thousand bucks for a really small influencer in your space, they'll review your product, give you a dedicated video. Anything somebody else says about you is gonna be four times as powerful than what you can say about yourself and this is amplified when you got a trusted source to review. So it's one thing to say a customer gave you a good review but somebody in the industry that's an authority, that amplifies this effect even more. So what I'm gonna do, the companies that I run, I'm gonna pay for three, at least three different influencers to review my product or service so I can quote them on my remarketing ad. So after they leave, they weren't quite sold yet on the product itself, being trusted, that whatever I said about the product, that influencers talked about. So. I'll, and then with the influencers, you just simply say, okay, on the, your video review, I want you to make sure you touch on this, 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 and this. I'm not forcing you exactly what to say, but you know, going back to the toolbox example, it has thicker steel. I want you to talk about steel thickness and what you think about it. So that everything I say on my website is followed up with remarketing ads. And then from there, other remarketing ads focus on other people reinforcing what, what, what we said about the benefits of that product and how it performs. And why it's different than the compet competition. So you understand why you want this product slash service specifically. The other thing you can do is review sites. There's an industry review site, pay to get on it. And then mention it, that you're on it and that you've got good reviews. You can also run side-by-side -side comparisons. Buy all the competitors' products. Less, you can do this less so with services, but you, it, it's also been done in the service space. Buy them all. Do a side-by-side a -side comparison. Like even if it was like a uh, back tax filing service, you can hire three or four other ones and be a secret shopper. Show their process versus yours and like what, what the potential refund was on the taxes that you that uh, you know were saved, if you will. Put that into a piece of material and then have your marketing ad say that your product was um, 
was compared side by side with the other leading industry products in that space or leading indus industry services in that space. There's a, you can do a branded ad or a, 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 a what they call a blind ad. My opinion is, is that most of the time I'm going to do it this way. I want the ad that pitches the side by side product comparison or service comparison to drive people to a YouTube video, which I'm going to have a dummy YouTube ad account or YouTube uh, channel so that the review that they think that they're watching is somebody else made it besides the company, which is going to give it even more strength in the consumer's mind. So they're going to find what they thought was like a random ad with a random side by side product comparison. And now they know that your product's the best. Any single person who's clicked on that ad, I drive them right to that YouTube video within the, from the banner ad, which a lot of people don't think about that. They think about if I run a banner ad after driving my site, no. Even better to drive them to YouTube because then they're going to pay attention to that info. They're going to trust that information more. And video conveys a lot more than what you can do on a landing page, generally speaking, right away. So you get the general idea there. And you could also do awards. Is there any industry awards that you can get in the running for? If you get it, putting it in the remarketing is going to make it even more, help you get sales even more than having it on your landing page because it's just another thing that they can see. And, the great thing about running like Google Display Ads remarketing, you, and you could also include YouTube ads, is it costs a penny to have an ad with a mention of the awards you've had, that you've got a good review by an industry review source or site, uh, an influencer reviewed your product, and for a lot of you guys paying two, three, four, five, ten bucks a click to get onto your site in the first place, not paying a penny to have someone that said you're the best product in the space or best service in the space. That's why I said you're throwing half your ad money away if you don't do that because you know it's so cheap effectively. And then furthermore, you should be running your remarketing ads everywhere because some people don't go to YouTube. They only go to Facebook. Well, you want to make sure you get in front of them there then. If you're not on Google or Facebook, you want Google display ads going so that if they're on a news website, they get to see your ad there. You, any place you can run it because it's that important and it's that effective, so what you would want it there. But anyway, you get the general idea there. Now, if they don't trust your product, that's how you get them to trust it. And so different people will have different reasons why they don't buy. That's why you have ads for all of these rotating out from, uh, for the user. So there, my, uh, like even for our own firm, I guarantee PPC, my remarketing sequence is about 25 ads deep. I'm gonna go through every tiny little excuse of why you wouldn't want to go with us in the remarketing ads. Why? Because it makes it easy for me to find clients. I don't have to explain anything. The content out there explains it all. So, sounds like a lot, and I know it sounds crazy, but the stuff that nobody is willing to do and nobody else is doing is the stuff that make, is the advertising that gets the really, really, really good returns. If you do what everybody else wants to do, you're going to get everybody else's results, which is most people don't even make money with their ads. They don't even know it. Or they make a little bit. Do you want to make a little or a lot? It's up to you. If they also don't buy because they think it's too expensive, they don't trust the company or the product, then they don't understand the value proposition yet. So what you want to do in that case is have ads that show up for people that show the product or service in use, which service is, I know it's obviously hard to do that, but you can do a case study showing how that service got results. And I would do it in the form of pictures as well as videos, so you get the highest level of understanding about that product or service. It's not just enough to put that on your landing page you took them to. You gotta follow up with them so that it, you really drill it in. If you expect to get the most money out of your front end traffic to your site. You also want to, um, restate the actual results. Of course, if it if it delivers 29% more horsepower for you know per dollar spent on ads, then you want to state that for the user, and you want to state it in a textual form. So I'll run responsive uh, display ads, which are text based. Also, going to do it in, in in a banner ad for the user, and I'm also going to do it in a video ad for the user. So. And going, going back to that, what I said before, you want to show up everywhere you can for that user, and you want to do it in different formats to communicate. Because ultimately, people have different preferred methods of communication. Some people like video. Some people like to see images. Some people want to see text. 
So anyway, they don't understand the value proposition. That's simply just on you. If you have 20 ads that pop up for the user over the next 30 days as they're deciding, of which so the product in use or service in use and how it actually delivers and what results it delivers and how it delivers for different results in the competition, there's no reason why they're not going to know what, why they should be buying it. So with all the content, that puts you in a position so every single person you're paying to get in front of in the first place knows why they should buy specifically and they can trust you and they can trust your company. They can trust the product or service at hand. And so, and if you're trying to do a lot of that through email or telephone right now, this is the perfect setup to get you so they don't have to do it anymore. One of the most common things that should happen in, in, a, in a, a company that sells a product that has a lot of customer interaction before they buy is the amount of questions that are asked goes down, the better your remarketing is. If you're remarketing good enough, basically there'll be nobody asking questions because you've done such a good job with your remarketing. If they were on the fence, they got whatever they wanted there. And then to go along with that, you probably go, know where I'm going with this. Whatever questions they ask should be remarketing ads that, and that focus on each one of those points, taking people to an expanded version of that point being answered and then you don't have that question coming in anymore. And it doesn't just save your time on the phone or through email, it actually increases your conversion rate because there's a lot of people that aren't, they don't want to call, they don't feel like calling. So, but if you have it there, they will read it a lot of the times instead of calling. They'll be willing to read it, but they weren't willing to call because that takes a higher level of uh, effort, if you will, to, to get the information. So anyway, you do all this, I promise you, you're gonna double the amount of money you're making. You just have to simply look at, you know, if you're spending five grand a month on ads right now, and you're able to pull 25,000 a month in sales, gross sales in your company, then take the five grand, put a grand of it towards your remarketing, and that 25 grand overall that you're getting gross, of gross sales coming into your company, you're gonna now get 40, 50. That's how this, that's how powerful this stuff is. But, and like I said before, that's how you want to measure it. You don't want to measure it by doing what everybody wants to do, which is they want to see that testimonial ad. So when clicked on it, bought instantly, and then it, therefore it works. Because that's not how it works. They see the testimonial ad. A lot of times they don't even click on it, but it still got into their mind a little bit. And then when they saw 50 other ads like that, you really got into their mind, and then if they were going to buy two weeks from now, when they thoroughly thought it over, you're ending up with the business at three times the rate that the competition is because you did all that work to, to make sure they think in their mind you're the best option. Even though you never told them that, that you were the best option directly, they assume it, but they, you know, you're put, you're, you've, you've set things up for them to only come to one conclusion, ultimately. That's the best way of selling is to make them make their own decision, giving them all the information that they need to make a good decision and having them make their own decision on their own. So, but with that said, that is how to get remarketing ROI every time when 90% of people never get it to work. If you have any questions about anything I covered here today, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple days time. You can ask me any ad related question you'd like. I'm more than happy to give back to my viewers on this, of this channel, just as simply as a thank you for watching this channel. And the information you're getting, of course, is coming from a 15 year ad expert who manages dozens of ad accounts on an ongoing basis and just focus on, focuses on the strategy thereof. So furthermore, with that, you of course wanna definitely subscribe to this channel if you wanna make millions of dollars with your ads because you're getting information straight from the source, not a full-time YouTuber, I'm a guy who does ad strategy all day long that does YouTube on the side and I don't sell courses or any of that other bullshit. You're getting real information here. Uh, with that said, if you like my channel, you can also find my blog at guaranteedppc.com slash blog. Writ my written material is even better than my video content here. You'll love it. As well as I have a written column over at entrepreneur.com. You can also follow me there. If you are looking for an ad manager, this is exactly what I do. And I do, what I do is unique in that we do not charge you any fees until you get a certain amount of lift in your sales up front on your campaigns. Uh, so with that said, 
Uh, if you want to see if we can work together and estimate like what we can do for your ads that you're running right now, you just simply have to reach out to me at my firm at guaranteeppc.com. We'll give you a free assessment up front, see if what's possible to do with it, short, medium, and long term. Um, the only catch is we don't work with clients that we know we can't get re great results from, but if we can, we certainly will give you the bit, first bit of results totally for free to show you how good the stuff that we know how to do and we talk about on this channel works. So uh, with that said, just reach out and uh, be more than happy to have a conversation with you. Furthermore, if you aren't looking to work with an ad agency per se, which is we like to take your ads, take over the reins, get you the results on autopilot, I understand if you don't want that, but it, we worked in over 100 different niche markets at this stage. So with that said, if we've worked in your niche before, you're certainly, uh, it's to your advantage to reach out to us and use the ads and everything that we've developed for your market instead of figuring it out all on your own because we've already spent the six, seven figures on figuring out exactly what works in your market in terms of ads, campaign templates, landing page templates, which, of which you can buy from us for, for a one-time fee and copy and paste everything that works in that space into your ad account and get the same results we were getting. We sell that for a one-time fee. It's really you know, inexpensive. We're talking like four figures. And you don't have to go through everything we did to get to those results. We've got people using these templates, by the way, to start other businesses that you know, is also working for them. If they're a service company, they started an e-commerce business using the e-commerce templates we had. You know, and you can easily get the products to sell whatever it is for that niche, given the person that we worked with was in a different country than the person that we sold the template to, so it works out. We've got people starting lead generation businesses through setting up a, a service business uh, and having the templates that worked for that service business and then selling the leads to other people in that business. There's different opportunities available just by having a winning ad template for an industry already and start and, and then wrapping a whole business around that in the beginning. So anyway, if you're interested in that, you can also reach out to me at guaranteeppc.com. Be more than happy to talk to you about that, what results we have and what markets, what the prices are on the templates. But I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on my next video where we have another great strategy for you then. See you later.